Hey guys, it's Aiden here. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're in a very different environment. I'm far away from home. I'm all the way on the other side of the world. Welcome to Canada. It's based, this is a new chapter of my life. So I figured that it's gonna be nice that I d document all my experiences and I want you to be able to come along with me. Okay, now that I'm back inside, oh my god, I really need a haircut. I'll probably get one tomorrow or something. But since I'm here in Canada, I'm staying with my relatives. So let me just show you a little few companions. And she just ran in. This is this is cream. This is a guinea pig here. But uh, she's a little bit shy. She likes to run inside out every so often. But you know, it's okay. Like this is my uncle's guinea pig right here. She's a little cute one. Like for the time being, here's my really jank kind of setup that I have you know, for the for my hardware that I brought over. So of course I brought over a mouse pad because like why of course, I brought over my mice. And I just let him. My setup at home is now being used by my sister, so she has a lot of fancy triple monitor setup things to be able to work with. So definitely something nice for her. So I brought my G502 here. I bought myself a Keychron K. I think this is a K3. I forget the exact model, but it's low low profile red key. key I can't speak low profile red switches. So it's portable and it's, and it's a good quality keyboard overall and it wasn't too expensive either it was around 700 hkd so around 90 usd so it was a pretty reasonable price for something like this i brought over some adapters for ethernet cable yeah my uncle just helped me set just set up a little area for me in the corner of his living room so this is where i've been, been stay, practically staying of course i can't forget that i brought my, my mv7 because otherwise i wouldn't be able to make proper content here and then I brought my other set of closed back headphones. If you've seen, if I've shown videos of what my setup area looks like before on my channel, but this is the this is the set of headphones that I use for monitoring. It connects directly to my audio interface whenever I'm doing work with, mu with music production and whatnot. But obviously, I couldn't bring my audio interface here, so unfortunately, this MV7 is c connected through USB. It's unfortunate, but you know, it's better than nothing at least, and it's at least much better than the rest of the USB mics that I've seen. Oh yeah, and then I've been just gaming with this little thing lately. It's my cousin's gaming laptop. It's an MSI one. I forget the exact model. I think it's a GF63. Something along those lines. I think it has a 9750H and a 1650 Max-Q. 16 gigs of RAM, so obviously nothing too special. My PC at home is much better than this, obviously. But you know, at least I can do something. At least I can play Siege. I can get on Valorant or whatever for the time being. So I don't have to rely on my Mac all the time. So in the meantime, I've been playing Siege again these few days and it's so weird to get back used to laptop gaming. It's almost impossible for me. And plus this is a 60 hertz screen, which makes my life even more difficult because my iPhone's 120 hertz, at home I use 144 hertz. So going back to 60 hertz gaming just doesn't feel right to me. Okay, right now the plan is for me is I'm gonna go get some ramen just because I'm craving some ramen right now because my, my YouTube recommended has a lot of food videos. I mean, I'm, I'm very much a foodie anyway. Because back at home in Hong Kong, I'd always be cooking things. And I enjoy cooking, I enjoy eating, I enjoy traveling. So it's something that I really miss that now I'm here in Canada. But you know, Canada is a lot of Chinese food, a lot of Asian food in general. So I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see. And honestly, my impressions of Canada so far are decent for the most part. But one thing I must say is I really wish that here in North America that public transport was much more better developed. Like sure, here in Toronto, like TTC and stuff, it's decent for the most part. It's not too bad. It's not god awful either, but it could definitely use some infrastructure work. Then again, Asia is basically like the gold standard for public transport, you know, Singapore, Hong Kong a lot of japan you get the idea so it's something that i definitely miss a lot because i'm such biased to the big city lifestyle so toronto and vancouver is what feels like home to me in that sense but at the same time i wish that public transport was more accessible especially even in these more suburban areas because back in hong kong it is still just as good almost but you know it is what it is more walking distance to cover not it's okay, I guess. I mean, it makes you burn more calories, a better, better exercise. So, I can't really complain too much, can I? 
and I seem to have gotten myself lost. I don't even know where am I. <laughs> I know I'm just walking through these neighborhoods and I have no clue where I'm going. I usually I'm used to just walking across the road and stepping across them, but um I'm not exactly wearing winter boots right now, so this is a bit more of a <laughs> more of a challenge. Okay, I found my way back. That's good. Turns out I was just next to where I needed to be. Perfect. I'll see you back inside then. Now, obviously, I'm not in uni I'm not in uni dorms right now. I'm I'm staying with relatives here in Canada for the time being for Christmas and whatnot. So yeah, this is my future goal for the channel. So number one, I'm gonna be pushing more vlogs in here in Canada just to show you my experiences of what Canada is like because I you know I've never lived here. This is my first time here long term. Number two. I'm going to be doing some vlogs to show you this, the Waterloo experience, what Waterloo life is like. Number three, I could potentially push some gaming videos, really light ones that only, ma you know, how max are and when it comes to supporting games, not that great, but I'll see what I can do. But for the time being, I think this is a good stopgap for the channel. Anyways, I'm going to end this video now. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and leave a like on this video if you thought it helped you on some maybe some short university advice and giving just me giving you my little life story and updates of what things have been like here. And with that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See ya. It's time for the combat to begin, boys. Right, I'm getting out. I'm getting the fuck out.